A new independent study of global warming data was released this week. And the majority of climate scientists are saying, well, duh. Duh, 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 duh. I want to hear you. Come on now. He's a professor of physics at UC Berkeley. He's the author of Physics for Future Presidents, Richard uh, Muller. Richard, how are you, sir? Richard Muller has become a familiar name on the climate denial circuit over the last year, rising to prominence as one of the last great hopes for the anti-science agenda, which seems strange because Muller is a real scientist who actually gets the physics of climate change. Uh, the carbon dioxide tends to trap the heat radiation of the Earth. It's like putting on a blanket. It becomes a better blanket when you add carbon dioxide. I don't think this is in dispute. Muller attracted attention in a series of lectures wherein he defamed prominent climate scientists, hinted that they may have somehow altered global temperature data, and although not a climate expert himself, announced his own plan to set the record straight. And what is the result in my mind? Quite frankly, as a scientist, I now have a list of people whose papers I won't read anymore. This is why I'm now leading a study to redo all this in a totally transparent way. Dr. Muller's much-trumpeted study was named the Berkeley Earth's Surface Temperature Project, or BEST. He obtained funding from several sources, most notably computer magnate Bill Gates, and ominously to climate realists, the notoriously anti-science Koch brothers, among America's richest and most regressive tycoons. Funding from the troglodyte right sent thrills of ecstatic approval throughout the climate denial blogosphere, and Mueller continued to repeat and amplify a number of the time-worn hobby horses of the climate croc conspiracy crowd. But they're the skeptics who are really doing a good job, and, and they have really raised issues that we are addressing. We're looking at the, at the uh, urban heat island effect. We're looking at the time of observation bias. We're looking at data selection bias. We're looking at all of these things. The urban heat island effect is a signature issue of one of the web's foremost climate misinformers, Anthony Watts, a frequent contributor to climate denial's higher intellectual realms. Watts asserts that the network of temperature stations used to calculate climate changes is deficient, and with a volunteer junior woodchuck society of armchair climatologists, claims to have documented poorly sighted or otherwise unworkable temperature stations. Areas where the growth of cities urban heat islands may have artificially skewed the temperature data. And what I'm doing, along with a group of volunteers, is going around and examining these stations to find out what exactly is the measurement environment in which the temperatures are being measured. Climate professionals, in Watt's mind, are either not smart enough to make adjustments for station sighting, or deviously using cooked data to fake global temperature readings as a pretense for their evil plan of global domination. On his website, Watts has posted screeds accusing climate scientists of lying, cheating, stealing, and all manner of skullduggery for an enthusiastic and adoring readership. For his part, Dr. Muller seemed to support the suspicion and hatred for the climate science professionals by seeking early support for his project from Watts. After visiting with Muller and the best team, Watts wrote to his followers, I'm prepared to accept whatever result they produce, even if it proves my premise wrong. In March 2011, Muller presented preliminary results from the best project before a packed house at the U.S. Capitol. Prior groups at NOAA, NASA, and the U.K. estimate about 1.2 degrees Celsius land temperature rise from the early 1900s to the present. That 1.2 degree rise is what we call global warming. Their, their work is excellent. Duh. Uh, the Berkeley Earth Project strives to build on it. In our preliminary analysis of these stations, we found a warming trend that's shown in the figure. Uh, Berkeley Earth is the black curve. The other three groups are in color. Our result is very similar to that reported by the prior groups, a rise of about 0.7 degrees Celsius since 1957. This agreement with the prior analysis surprised us, uh, since our preliminary results don't yet address many of the known biases. When they do, it's possible that corrections could bring our current agreement into disagreement. 
In October 2011, the BEST group released completed results from their work, in essential agreement with every other major temperature data set from around the planet. This animation displays their integration of more than 1.6 billion measurements from more than 39,000 temperature stations around the world. The display shows how instrument data the BEST team tracked became gradually available over much of the Earth's land surface, beginning in the early 1800s, while a moving indicator keeps track year by year of the global average shown on the map. To the chagrin of climate denialists, facts are stubborn things. The new results confirm the work of the much maligned scientists. Even that climate denial punching bag, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's hated hockey stick temperature graph. The much discussed canards of station bias and urban heat islands turn out to be non-issues, once again affirming the methods of careful career climate professionals over the paranoid conspiracy theories of the basement climatologist blogosphere. And the reaction has been unsurprising. Global cooling has been one of the climate crank's favorite fantasies, an irresistible contrarian confection available in dozens of flavors. I don't think that anyone disagrees with the fact that we actually are in the middle of a cold period. They talked about hiding the decline in temperatures of the last half of the last century. And this is, this is not anecdotal. This, this is scientific temperature research surveys. We are actually cooling. Duh, 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 duh. We'll watch as denialists gin up more irrational rationalizations in coming weeks. And the best place to keep up with the ongoing meltdown of the anti-science crusaders is right here on Climate Denial, Crock of the Week. Keep the customers coming around. If you're smart, then you better start dumbing it down. Don't say anything too profound. Dumb it down. Dumb it down.